As the United States and the world focus increasingly on China, around questions of trade, human rights, climate change, the sovereignty of Taiwan, and the origins of COVID-19, we begin a special NBC News series this week that takes a look behind the wall. The traditional role of women is being reevaluated in a modern China, as highlighted by one woman who's become a national star after she left the restrictions of her life at home and hit the road, documenting her journey on social media and inspiring women across the country. NBC's Janice Mackey Freyer rides along in our Sunday Spotlight. There's a ritual to it now. The parking lots and campsites, the roof tent and meals alone. And Su Min has never been happier. Since setting out nearly a year ago on a solo road trip around China, an awakening, she calls it, having spent most of her life in one place, doing what was expected of her as a wife, a mother and grandmother. This time it's for me, she says. I came out to live for myself. She's traveled 25,000 miles so far, from beaches to mountaintops, sort of like a Chinese version of the movie Eat, Pray, Love. I want to go someplace where I can marvel at something. It was when Sue, who's 56, started posting videos of her road trip to Chinese TikTok that her journey took a very big turn because the videos went viral. Not so much for the scenery and selfies, but the intimate details Sue began to reveal about herself and the reasons for her journey. Her abusive marriage, unhappiness at middle age, the thrill of newfound freedom. She says the day she left, her husband told her, if you go, just have fun and don't come back. <laughs> Sue is an internet sensation now. She has a million and a half followers on social media who tell her how painfully familiar her story feels to them. You want to be brave like me? You will be, she says. Her popularity is a challenge to traditional gender roles here, especially among her generation. I hooked up with Su Min in Yunnan province, in her crammed hatchback driving north into the mountains toward the Tibetan plateau. She studied travel blogger videos to learn how to camp and save money. I ask her if she ever feels lonely on the road. The scenery is so good, she says. There's no time to be lonely. That's also because people often just show up to join her. They bring her food and visit. Inspired by this former factory worker turned accidental feminist icon. I'm just an ordinary Chinese woman, she says. I really didn't expect that I could go this far. Already, Sue has starred in documentaries and fashion ads. She's even getting sponsorships. So if this was the movie, what happens next? After this, if I can go back to a happy home, that should be a perfect ending, she says, adding she doesn't want the stigma of a divorce. But that's all down the road. For now, Su Min has a country to see and a life to discover. For Sunday Today, I'm Janice Mackey Frere in Yunnan, China. Janice, thank you very much. Our NBC News series Behind the Wall with a look at life inside China continues all week. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.